<laughs> Hi, this is Willie. Uh, sometimes you want to capture hair flicks, especially and when the hair flicks back and you get the water spraying out, this is one way of doing it. First, uh, get the model to put the hair in the water and she doesn't need to put her whole head in so that she can still breathe and listen to you. And what you need to do is to do it really fast. And since this is midday sun, she needs to lean her head back enough to catch the sunlight. Okay, so on a count, one, two, and go. One more time. You just need to get the hair out of the face so she needs to be able to do it fast and flick outwards and get the weight going into. So you rather than just pulling it straight back, you need to pull it up first and so to let it fling out. Obviously, you need a fairly high shutter speed because you want to freeze the water in motion. So, but if you have, you're under bright sunlight, that's not a problem. The other issue with bright sunlight is that shadows tend to fall on the face. But in this case, since the hair is flicking backwards, as long as the model's head is tilting upwards, she is able to get the sunlight uh, on her face not without problems, without having shadows on her face. So you want to capture it at the end of the motion when the hair kind of flicks backwards. All right, and usually if I'm using a compact camera here, there's a little bit of a shutter lag, so you need to time it after that. Okay, ready? Put your hair into the water, face, because she can still hear me at this position, and she needs to move her head in a kind of a circular motion backwards. And three, two, one, go. Monkey see, monkey like, monkey do. Bananamana.com <laughs>